See the fans are Norwegian, they want a Norwegian victory. What on earth is that coach doing? <laughs> and he's trying to, yeah, he's trying to urge on Roland Clara to a lifetime best, to a monumental occasion in his racing career. Never won a World Cup. And uh, Clara just piling on the pressure. Ellison to the left on the near side. Then Legkov so close, so near. Could this be his day? And not out of it, Sunbi keeps looking around. Chanusov doubling over, doesn't seem to have the purchase that the others do at the moment. It's, yeah, Chanusov looks like he's on survival, just like Yerdal and uh, Peter Nortugar, but getting advice from coaches. Yeah, and Lick Rickardson, as in the World Championship, he's put everything in and he's now running out of gas because Legjanin is the man who's catching uh, Dalen and Norto. It's slowed down again. It has indeed, and so that they're just trying to get the breath back, David, because remember, we get some recovery now, and then the big climb up the back and hill to come, and that's got to be the break point. Roland Clara, 31 years of age, no major medals in individual World Championships or Olympic Games. He's finished third in World Cup races, but he finished second this year in the Canmure double pursuit. Look what's happening, David. Uh, look what's happening. Nortuk's reacting. He's getting past. There's a flicker of uh, impulse in his brain to his muscles. Yeah, that's because Legjanin has just insulted the pair of Norwegians, <laughs> and Rickardson's right on their tail as well. But heck, let's concentrate. Nortuk's not going to win this, Mike. And you can see up there, Eliasson now striking from home. And Legkov sitting in there now. Has Legkov got the pace to sprint down the final straight? This is not going to be so much about sprinting. It's going to be about strength. It's going to be about desire. It's going to be about who wants it most. And uh, look on the right-hand side again. Sumbi, for me, the most efficient movement. Look at his shoulders. They're rock solid. He's not giving anything away technically. It's still efficient. Is, he, is he ready? Chanusov. Now a couple more meters back to him. But he looks... It's deceptive, isn't it? You can't sum him up at the moment. He's stayed out of the action for most of the way, Chanusov. And that's what's a, a little tantalizing about him. Just difficult to sum him up and work out where he might be. Just detached a little bit, the Russian from Novosibirsk. Lovely place, uh, well, way in Siberia, but I've always loved racing in Novosibirsk. And remember, uh, Chanusov, who was runner-up in Sochi in the double pursuit. There are men here who really, they need to win this to really satisfy their season. The five are now four, David. Chernusov detached slightly. Well, there's Legkov at the back there wearing that red bib. Eliasson for Norway, Clara in the blue, in the Azzurri for uh, Italy. And now Sunbi moving up there, Legkov trailing him. And there's Chanusov just a little bit off the pace now. Coming to this final stage now as they work their way round to drop back into the stadium. Chanusov now seriously detached by five, six, seven meters. I'm wondering if Chanusov will get it back. Will he make contact? I think he might. Down this fast descent and then the right-hander. And this is the low point of the whole course before they climb back up higher than the stadium, drop down again, and then into the finish. There's Chanusov. He has made it back. Whose skis are running well? Who's got the glide? Remember, that will be important down the back straight as well as they come up here. And uh, Legkov beginning to uh, move as well. It's two Norwegians in front. Then Legkov, Clara now uh, just pushed back a, a little bit. And Chanusov coming into this again now. 1.3 seconds, the separation chronometrically. And Eliasson, tough. Sunbi, what a reward this would be. He'll turn around if he wins this and said, if only I'd been fit in Val de Fieme. But who cares? Who cares? If he wins, this will be... Such a great day for Martin Jonsrud Sumbi. The prestige for Norwegians or for anybody to take this race to live on in history. It's an amazing race.
Mike, your legs and your arms, what's happening? They're burning now. They're, they're, there's twitching and cramping, everything's hurting, but now you're focused on survival and there is a spark coming back into the body because you know it's nearly over. And this is mind over matter now. This is desire, this is beyond everything. You can be racing on fumes, but you still can do this. You're still there after putting in two hours and six minutes, so you know you've got a chance. Uh, Lakoff needs to keep it sharp in third place. Yeah, and then you can see Chanusos back, Roland Clower a little bit back. They're all getting ready. This is the crucial positioning. There'll be no drink taken on the bridge this time. This is serious stuff. And they're really skating and moving now. And it's Eliasson from Legkov. Far side is Sunby. Then you've got Roland Clara. Chanusov can't get back at them. Legkov, ace position for Legkov. Yeah, wonderful positioning. He knew he had to be on the inside, and he is. First here is good, but it's not all over. And he takes the run, and he goes first, and he opens up by five, six, seven metres. Russian, ten metres ahead. The rest are left there. Chanusov coming on the inside, but he's left it too late. And Legkov now has to survive. Chanusov now vying with Sunbi for second place over the little bridge. There'll be no flag taking. It'll be total concentration. They are on their feet in the stands the royal box to the left there of Legkov to the right as you see Legkov double polling down a major milestone in Alexander Legkov's life because he is going to win the Oslo gold medal as he takes the 50 kilometer classic <laughs> and he takes it in style <laughs> fantastic empty tanks all round Sunbi second Chanusov third Eliasson run out of it likewise Clara but, hey, who would deny Alexander Legkov this victory? Do you know, I take my hat completely off to him. He's been fourth so many times. He gets the start strategy wrong so often. But bullish, hard, hard, hard work. He's hardly been out of the top five all day. Nautuk on the right. Legjanin on the left. Rickardson right behind here. This is for sixth, seventh and eighth places. And Nortuk finds more because he wants the World Cup points over Colonia. Those are important. Legjani, Rickardson, the best for Sweden. But you can see that the lead group eventually got it into their heads to kill him off. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting. Your darling, there he is on the line. He did all his work for his team, a lot of the work for his teammate, and he just collapsed across the line. Nothing left. Well done two hours and seven minutes and there's Södergren and on the left of your picture in red Schurota, another world championship medalist and he's out sprinting uh, Södergren that's uh, par for the course, that's usually what happens and he's top ten and Nortug is still flat on his back, look at these men, they are totally emptied oh, Legkov is staggering left and right but I'll tell you what this means is so much for Legkov, who's who's always there in these distance races but never really able to finish so well bodies in the way they need to move the tired athletes out of the way and there have been races over the time the bear Palus, the sodagrens the Kjelmasets, nortug himself uh elder running but hey today russia and Legkov will meet the king and the king will be mighty impressed Oh, he will, absolutely. And uh, Lakoff went over to his wax specialists and uh, boy, those lads stayed in our hotel at the World Champs. They worked so hard for Lakoff and the Russian team. Great finish to a great race and a deserved winner. And that just shows you, and Nortug's got to come back from that to race in Stockholm on Wednesday and then the Falun finale and whatever happens Colonia oh, oh. well oh. that's when you try to celebrate he's barely across the line oh. du du <laughs> yeah and uh, Colonia I'm just trying to get a reading on Colonia he's still to come in David uh, I'm dropping oh there he is He's dropped down to positions there. So uh, this is going to be now sixth place. And where is Colonia going to finish? Is he going to be 19th? 19th it is for Colonia. Uh, mathematics coming into play here. If I uh, have the capability of doing it. Uh, he's going to be which position now? So we're 19th for Colonia. 19th for Colonia. Well, 
And, uh, of course, uh, Pedro Nord took sixth position. Yeah, so it's uh, a big differential there. 19th place gets you 12 points. And sixth place, I can't quite remember. Fifth place is 40 points, I think. Sixth place is 40 points. So 40 minus 12, that's... Uh, uh, that's what, 28-point uh, game? 28 points, and then of course uh, a sprinkling of those bonus points uh, throughout the race. So remember, Nortuk was 23 points behind at the beginning of this race. That was without all the bonus point stuff that's come in. But I reckon that it could well be that Nortuk's gone to the top of the table. However, having said that, Legkoff... Uh, was 107 points back and he's got 100 here so he's made 60 points on Nortug what a race he's enhanced his position in in the lead of the distance globe and he's really put himself in a strong position Legkov for the overall title and he's, he's not a sprinter though for the for the of course the uh, the sprint races next Wednesday He's got a 15 kilometer, up. yeah, but he's got a 15 kilometer classic and the World Cup finals. Um, there's the prologue, which is free stuff. You're right, Mike, not the last races don't really fall in his favor. Not entirely. I mean, he will be bullish and working hard and pushing himself to the limit as usual. But you know, win here, gold medal, meet the king on that roll of honor. Nice. 1892, the roll of honor first established. Uh, very special it, 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 and for Lekov and, and I think for Team Russia a special day it shows they can take on the Norwegians the Swiss the best names in the world and win and that's good news for the Russian team yeah and that's a one and three let's not forget Janusov who managed to get through to deny Eliasson and Clara who does so much work up front and maybe that's where the difference was that Janusov had that sprinting extra when it mattered most there and only Sunbi could hold him off and for Sunbi, well, he's proved what he might have done in the World Championships. Well, and especially at the World Championships when it was, of course, in the classic technique, that would, I think, have favoured uh, Sunbi that little bit more. Kershaw, not the great season for Devin Kershaw, but uh, I think he'll be happy with the 29th position. Noah Hoffman, 24th, I think that's a very good effort by the American. He didn't look happy coming across the line. He definitely had an issue with the athlete crossing the line with him, but hey, that happens in racing, but it's a great performance. But as you say, well done to uh, the Russian service team and to Alexander Legkov. That is a fantastic way to come to the end of the season. Whether he wins the overall World Cup, he's got a real chance of winning the distance uh, Crystal Globe because he's gained, what, 60 points over Norto. <laughs> And here the official results. 100 points and World Cup victory to Alexander Legkov. The Oslo medal will surely go to him, I think, for this. Martin Run, Jonsrud Sundby, excellent. Then Chanusov. And there you can see the best for Italy, Roland Clara. And you come down here, Sweden, uh, Daniel Rickardson, the top man for them. Giorgio De Cento, excellent in 12th place. Robin Duviar, the best for France. And Dario Colonia, the best for Switzerland. And as you uh, come further down there, a good run by uh, Kretzmar. But uh, more of the Women's World Cup tomorrow, 30 kilometers around these trails and hopefully the same audience to support the best women racers in the world in their last long distance race of the season. I hope you've uh, enjoyed the action here. Terrific race. Mike, uh, your last thoughts? Hey, Lake off for all the hard work that he always does. Delighted that he's taken the victory and he just did not leave himself out of the top five throughout the whole race. Amazing. Impressed and really worthy. Jons Rudsunby, great to see him back to full health and a worthy second holding off uh, Chinusov. But on this Saturday afternoon in Oslo, Alexander Lekov is quite simply the man.